What's Gucci, everybody? It's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about tr tree, traver tree traversals. And this will be one of the first of my three videos where I talk about the three basic tree traversals for binary search trees. In this video, I'm going to cover the post, the um, pre order search. And the pre order search is the first one where there is the pre order search, the in order search, and the first and the um, post order search. Pre order search. And tree traversals are a way in which you visit each node once. Let me type this out here. Tree traversals are a way in this you uh, visit each node once. Sorry, I'm having trouble say that. Visit each node once. Um, in a systematic way, and each pre-order, post-order, and in-order um, have a diff different systematic way of visiting the nodes. Systematic way. Okay, so now we're going to start with um, the pre-order search. Now, as you can see, I've drawn a binary tree here up in advance. Note that a, a pre-order search will, will work on any working binary tree. Now, here, here is the basic algorithm for pre-order search. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to write down a few letters and I'll explain to you what they mean. I'm going to write down date node, left, and then right. So this is the pattern we're going to follow when we visit these nodes. When we start at the binary tree, we're always going to start at the root. But when we, whenever we encounter a node, we're going to follow this al algorithm. We're going to go to the, we're going to get the node, and then if we've already gotten the node, we're going to go left, and then if we can't go left anymore, we're going to try to go right, and then if we can't, if we can't go right, we're going to go, we're going to go up, up the parent, and try that again. Let me show you guys an example here. So let me just say, um, let me just make a path here because I'm going to write down which nodes we path, we um, get to. So I'm going to start at 50. So I'm, I am at 50 right now. As I said, we start at the root. And here we go. I'm at 50 and I'm going to run my algorithm. So node, have I visited this node yet? No, I have not visited this node yet. So I'm going to write down 50. Okay. And now since I... I hit node, I'm going to rerun this little three-part algorithm. So I'm going to go against, I'm going to rerun it. And so node, have I, have I, have I been to this node? Yes, I have been the 50. Um, have I gone left yet? No. Can I go left? Yes, I can. So now I'm at 25. So then I did something at left. So now I rerun the algorithm and I see, okay, node, have I visited 25? No, I have not. So 25 is the second node I visit. Then I restart the algorithm again. I visited 25, so now I go left. I, now I'm at 1. Again, I rerun the algorithm. Have I visited 1? No. So I get I'm at 1. Now here's where the, the third step I was talking about. I look at 1. I rerun the algorithm node. Am I, have I visited 1? Yes, I have. Have and can I go le and then I go to left? Can I go left? No, there is no left node for me to go to. Can I go right? No, there is no place for me to go right. So now, since I can't go do any of these things, what I do is I go up to my parents. So I'm back up to 25 since I could not do any of those any longer. So now I run the same algorithm again at 25. Can I do the node? No, I, cannot, no, I cannot do the node. I've already visited that. Can I do left? No, I cannot do left. I've already visited left. So that is important to notice. Since I'm going up the tree, I, I have, I'm saying I, I've either canceled out all my right opportunities or canceled out all my left opportunities, as I just did. So by going up, I'm saying, oh, there's no, I finally hit the bottom of the tree, and I'm saying there's no way to go left or right in my tree. Or in some cases, it could be just left, and so you just have to go up. And so you go up. <sighs> I hate it when that message pops up. And so... There you go. So now, again, I'm back, I'm back at 25. I can't go to the node. I can't go left. So I have to go right. So now I'm at node 12. And while I'm at node 12 here, I again run the algorithm node. Have I been to node 12? No, I have not. So I write down 12. That's the next node I've been. So then again, I run my algorithm. Node, yes, I've been there. Left, can't go left, can't go right. So now I pop back up 
to 25. You can kind of think of it as a stack. Uh, 25, I've hit the node. I can't go left. I can't go right. So then I pop up back again to 50. Um, I'm at 50. Can I go? Can I, I've already hit the node at 50. Can I go? Have I already visited the, the left subtree of 50? Yes, I have. Can I go to the right subtree of 50? Yes, I can. So I go to 75 now. I run the algorithm on 75. Have I been to the node of 75? No, I have not. 75 is the next node I visited. Okay, now I run the algorithm again. Can I go left? Yes, I can. And so I go to 62. Then I'm at 62. Have I hit the node of 62? No, I haven't. 62 is the next node I visit. Then, sorry, I'm trying to speed this up because I hope you guys get this, but I'm doing a full explanation. And there you go. So now I see, can I go to the node? No, I've already done that. Can I go left? No, I can't. Can I go right? No, I can't. So then I pop back up here again to 75. I've already, I've already hit the node of 75. I've visited the left subtree of 75, so I can go right. And so I go to 100. And as you see, as of this, we have visited every single node in the pre-order search. I, I, visit, I visited every single node in this tree. I would like to note that if this tree were not perfect or not perfectly level, it would still work. You would still follow the same rules as this goes. I want to, I want to note a, one thing about the pre-order search. In the pre-order order search, the first node, the first thing that you visit will always be the root node. It will always be 50 or whatever the root node is, as you notice. So that is something um, good to notice out, good to point out. In the next video, I, I, will do, I will be making the in-order search. And if you get the pre-order search, it will be pretty easy to follow along with the same algorithm, with a similar algorithm that I'm using to do the in-order search. Well, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you watch the next tutorial. Also, sorry I forgot to mention, I will be including in this video a link to a very good site which shows you, again, better examples of pre-order, in-order, and post-order um, tree traversals, and, show, and you can play along with it, and it's a really cool job application, and that will be in the description below. So check it out. I'll see you guys later.